manifesto in Freyheit in the northern Guazulu Natal. The party was disqualified from participation in the 2016 municipal election as it had failed to pay the election fee to the Independent Electoral Commission. Let's cross live to our reporter Vusi Kumalo for more on the story. Vusi, a very good morning to you. What's happening where you are? A very good morning, Tepi, and also to the viewers at home. Yes, it's, there is a, a very unbearable heat down here at Freyhead. It's why it's it's where by, I mean, uh, Freyhead is known as a mining town, it's also farming. There are so quite a number of people streaming in or slowly uh, trickling in here to also, I mean, to be here to hear their views and also the aspirations as well as the dreams of the NFP as it is launching its manifesto for the 2019 uh, election on the May 8th, we know that the, ho the whole country is going to be voting. Uh, there are so many people here. Uh, we are told that Zanelega Makwazam Sibi will be delivering uh, her keynote address at around about 12 p.m. And also, right after that, maybe she'll be reading a few lines or few paragraphs. And then see Paul Nkwanazi, who's the national spokesperson for the NFP, will also deliver the, the remaining uh, part of the speech. With me here is the man himself, um, uh, Mr. Mkwanazi. Tell us about the main reason you chose Freyhead as the base of the manifesto launch for the NFP. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, as the party of the National Freedom Party led by Zanela Gama Kwazam Sebi, uh, we chose Freyhead uh, to be a base in which we, we launch our manifesto as an organization uh, simply because uh, uh, Zululand district is a base of the National Freedom Party, uh, not, no, not denying the fact that the party is at a, a national level in every corner. However, uh, Zululand is where everything began, it's where it emanated the race was found and uh if you remember very well in 2016 when we held uh, our manifesto launch for local uh, government elections it was here in Freyhead and that when we gave promises to the people that when uh, we pronounced uh, our, our path for the future uh, speaking to the nation especially uh, on local municipalities uh, we're giving them a clear agenda and articulations of what is it that we intend to do as the party and then in 2016 we fell short and we fell short in this venue, it was in Freyhead, and then we decided as the party that uh, we should pick, up, pick ourselves up from the very same venue in which we felt. Uh, I think that is the idea behind and uh, uh, many leaders and other, politi uh, rather other provinces also concurred in their proposal that they were mentioning that they prefer that at least uh, this manifesto should be based on Freyhead. Okay, the party in 2011 was launched with, much, with so much fanfare and also what were the founding principles of the party as well as its successes over the years? Uh, the founding principles of the uh, National Freedom Party has always been uh, based on integrity, but the highest priority in which our party was founded was on the gap that nobody could have breached uh, to actually bring a uh, hard uh, reality of a service delivery. Everybody would actually speak uh, about service delivery and they would speak it uh, in policy terms and generalize it uh, for a certain group of individuals who would actually comprehend or understand what is it that they are speaking of in policies. But the National Freedom Party has been distinct uh, if you also uh, look at the character of the president of the organization itself. Uh, she has been always touched base, she has been always uh, the custodian and genu uh, of providing genuine leadership and providing service delivery. In this country, in South Africa, there is nobody who has ever been like uh, Zanele Gama Kwazam Sibi in every uh, corner of service delivery and she has been known of that. She's a national asset of service delivery so as the party we have proven ourselves beyond reasonable, reasonable doubt that we are capable and we are competent and if we can reflect back uh when we entered the elections in 2011, that when we first took uh, the Zulian district and other municipalities elsewhere, but in that district, it's where she has proven uh, the capabilities of the organization and as, as of the president herself, uh, that the NFP is capable and the NFP cares, the NFP prioritizes uh, giving, giving the basic need that people lack, especially the infrastructures. Uh, those are the issues which uh, reflect the findings 
guiding principles of the organization and so is the character of the president itself. Okay, but Mr. Mkwanazi, one will say that uh, since Sanerika Makwasam Sebi uh, took ill or fell ill in 2014, the party has never been the same. That will be true that the party has not been the same, but every time she keeps reminding us of the founding principles of the organizations which we have made allude of. And in this country, you have never seen anyone as bold as her, as courageous as her. She's firm, she's constant in providing leadership, given the circumstances, given the conditions that she is faced with. But the idea of the party to live still lives and still exists in her conscience. Why? Because she understood that the idea was beyond her. It was above her. It was not uh, an idea of Zanila Gamakwaza owning a political party. It was an idea that South Africans are desperately in need of basic in infrastructure. It was an idea that uh, South Africans need a person or a leader who would, who, would, who would care about the widows, who would care about the youth, who would care about the elders, who would care about the traditional leaders. They needed a person who actually understand what is it that the, the general South Africans need. Because uh, many leaders will only speak uh, at a global scale when they're talking about the issues. But the president, Zanila Gamakwazam Sibu of the NFP, she was always caring about an individual, even if in that area or that community there is transport, there is a, a road, rather, there is road, there is water and everything. But if you are an individual, you do not have water in that same community which has the water, she will even care about you because that's where the organization has been established from, uh, that we care for an if individual because we understand that community is constituted by individuals. So, given that, we will deny that a dream her vision dies because we are still her hands, we are still her eyes, we are still her ears, we are still here as the leadership of the NFP to back that idea into materialization, to back that idea into realization and will make sure that her idea never dies so as her. Okay, just on the eve of the election, the party uh, suffered many defections, you seeing a mass exodus of key leaders also uh, having uh, senior positions uh, in parliament as well as the provincial legislatures. We are talking here about Malia Keshelembe, who was a national spokesperson, I mean national chairperson, and also his deputy, Estelo Mabiga, and also his deputy, and many others such as Boom Mwabe, who went to join the ATM as well as Cindy Siwe, Machinini, who went to join the UTM. How did this hurt you going to the election on the 8th of May? It is an undeniable fact that every individual matters uh, in a political organization. Even those who are not politically affiliated, they do matter. So we cannot say as a, uh, as a party that we, it doesn't matter that they've gone. However, we are very much pleased that it, it, when they went to, to join other political parties, it was based on upholding the constitution of the organization. It was based on never deviating on the agenda of the party because they were called for a disciplinary hearing on the issues which were, uh, were against the, the organization itself and on the issues of, of breaking or breaching the constitution of the party. So we could not turn a blind eye and say we, we rather keep them even if they are corrupt in the organization. We cannot have a spoiled potato within the potatoes uh, because it will spoil others. So that, that's why we said we rather get rid of them even if it pains us rather than to have them keeping on spoiling the organization or driving to an an organization to a parallel direction than the vision that the country or the rather that the organization have so we took a decision and it was a bold decision that we rather lose them they rather go and join other political parties uh, because they do have such a freedom however we gave them a chance to appeal and they did not and we chose our constitution we chose to uphold the values of the organization over an individual okay we know that the upcoming election is stopped uh, as an election or or land vote. We also note that the NFP is also in favor of the amendment of the constitutional uh, I mean, amendment. Tell us the reasons we are behind this proposal. This idea, it was an idea of all South Africans who fought against apartheid during an apartheid era. 
they had one common vision that we must have our land back hence it, it you can make reference of it in the freedom charter and it is true that the national freedom party st stand firm that land must be redistributed without compensation however the national freedom party differs in approach because the idea is genuine the idea is big the idea is great however for that idea to be fully materialized the national freedom party led by we are saying we cannot then turn a blind eye on the prerequisites or prior preparations for land expropriation without compensation making mention of or to make mention of uh, water uh, water reservation we need to extract water or rather harvest water and have ways of uh, reserving water we need to capacitate uh, our people who, whom the land is due to we need to interact with in, in, uh, institutions of higher learning to set a target of agronomists that we expect to have we need to have commercial banks we need to have our people credit worthy we need to uh, observe and study the market we need to keep the market because it's not about having the land it's about having a commercial land that will be pro uh, productive, that will produce uh, anything that will be used for, and that production it must not end. It must be it, it must be distributed to all markets so that it makes value. And we cannot do that. We cannot have that if we do not have if we do not have people who are capacitated, who who, who, who are educated, who have been taught, who have been trained to have such. And and as the National Freedom Party, we are saying those farm workers who are, who are working farms right now, even under the white minority, those, white, uh, those farm, farm workers must be recognized. They must share the skill they've gained all over the years. They must share that experience with us. We must even have agronomists from those people who have actually done the work, who actually understand what is it that we are speaking of, not only reading it from the books. That is what we are advocating as the National Freedom Party. Party. We are saying government must ensure that there are commercial banks because our people are not credit worthy. It will be meaningless to have land without proper prior preparations to execute the land fruitfully so. Okay, that's Mr. Mkwanazde, who is the national spokesperson for the NFP. Uh, the party is about to launch its manifesto for the May 8th election. I mean, election, and we also know that the observers are saying this election, especially for the NFP will be a, a make or break it. Uh, many observers are saying that this will be the real test for the character, true character of the NFP and also saying that will also test the true character and existence of the NFP to say that uh, maybe it does do the test of time and also will be there. Uh, the, co the country's uh, political landscape with that said, you can see in my background, there you can see a number of people, uh, I mean the jovial movement their party is about to be launched. We know that in 2016 the party failed to pour, I mean to pay a deposit for the I mean the election fee. But today everything has been sorted. So it will be seen whether the party, how it, the party will fare in this upcoming election on the May the 8th type so. Well, thank you there to Vosi Kumalo, uh, who is coming to us uh, from the manifesto launch of the National Freedom Party, a party launched in 2011, but was unable to run in a previous election due to lack of funds.